We had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tag, which was great. So we had that information. Secret Service agents say former President Donald Trump is safe after shots were fired in his vicinity earlier today in Florida. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Courtney King. Investigators say an agent fired those shots at a suspect seen hiding in some shrubbery with a rifle and scope pointed at Trump about four to 500 yards away at his West Palm Beach golf course. So the FBI put out a statement saying they're investigating this as an assassin assassination attempt. Investigators say the suspect had two backpacks hanging on a fence and a GoPro camera and tried to get away in a car before police arrested him. You're looking at traffic camera footage from Florida's Department of Transportation. It shows traffic stopped on the interstate as sheriff's deputies took the suspect into custody. Sources tell CNN officials believe the shooter intended to target Trump. Michael Yoshida reports. I think they said, take a look. Just over two months after getting injured at a campaign rally near Pittsburgh, authorities are investigating what appears to be an assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. Former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. The person in custody in connection with the apparent attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump is Ryan Bresley Routh, according to three law enforcement sources, thanks to a tip from an eyewitness who was able to provide plenty of information that led to the suspect's apprehension. We had a tag, we had a vehicle description, and we got an area where we saw the person. Law enforcement officials say they found an AK-47 style rifle and other items left by the suspect in bushes near the Trump International Golf Club. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. The FBI is involved with the matter. We've deployed a number of resources, including investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were both briefed on the matter. Harris and her running mate Governor Tim Walz both issued a statement saying they are glad Trump wasn't injured and that quote, they're glad he is safe and that violence has no place in America. I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. Well, authorities say the suspect has not commented or made any statement about the incident. And again, as you just saw, Trump's opponent in the presidential race, Vice President Kamala Harris, responded on Twitter. She says, I have been briefed on reports of gunshots fired near former President Trump and his property in Florida, and I am glad he is safe. Violence has no place in America. President Joe Biden has also been briefed on the incident. Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, also reacted on Twitter, now known as X. He says, I'm glad President Trump is safe. I spoke to him before the news was public, and he was amazingly in good spirits. Still much we don't know, but I'll be hugging my kids extra tight tonight and saying a prayer of gratitude. Meanwhile, some local leaders are also reacting to the news of another possible attempted assassination on President Trump. We spoke with Representative Brad Wenstrup over the phone. And it isn't really surprising that we need some accountability in this country. And it isn't just with the Secret Service and our protection agencies, but it's uh, for those in, in our country that spew so much hatred all the time. And you have people out there that are, are weak and impressionable, and they think that they're going to be an American hero, and they go out and they try and assassinate the President of the United States. It's a problem, but look deep. People have to look in the mirror and understand what is driving people to this. Here's some other local reaction. Congressman Greg Landsman posting on X, we're grateful no one was hurt, including the former president. From reports, the FBI now has the person in custody. There is no place for violence in politics, and I condemn what appears to be another attack on the former president. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost also on X, Horrified to hear of a second assassination attempt against President Trump. Grateful that no one was hurt. Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones posting, please protect President Trump. And back on the national scene, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says he spoke to President Trump and called him one of the strongest people he's ever known. He says Trump 
is in good spirits. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he applauds the Secret Service agent's work to protect former President Trump. He also condemned political violence and called for the suspect to be prosecuted. And we're continuing to follow this breaking story. We have more reaction from state and national leaders, including former President Trump's children. We also have more of our interview with Representative Renthrop, Strupp, and we'll pass along more updates as we get them. You can also download our free up-to-date to with the latest information, our app, that is.